everyone. Welcome to 5 minutes practical programming tools. For this video, we will start a new topic, the VTK, the Visualization Toolkit. You must have heard or used VTK somewhere if you work with projects about scientific computing or scientific visualization. You could find lots of videos and tutorials online about the VTK. Is it really necessary to make a similar one? For this video, instead of discussing about the theoretical knowledge such as what is VTK, what it says, or what is that, we more focus on how it works by using real code examples. Instead of just showing you simple examples, I will tell you how to read the source code of the VTK and how to write more complex program based on the simple cases. Since I use VTK in my daily work, I will show you some of my experience about the visualization pipeline and some common issues I know about using VTK. Besides, I will also list all the resources I used to make this video. I believe this video could help you to better understand the VTK and better use it in your project. Diving into real examples, we need to introduce VTK briefly. The VTK is a toolkit containing several parts. First important one is a data model that represents the mesh data. If you are not familiar with the mesh data, the best tutorial is uh, this book, the VTK textbook. This is a free online, and you could get detailed description about the data representation of computer graphics uh, at chapter 5, and they describe several typical data pattern, data models here. Second part is the libraries that process the scientific data. The VTK provides all kinds of filters from the computer graphics or computer vision. The user could use those libraries or filters conveniently. And the third part is the visualization toolkit. I mean, it could render the data. If you are familiar with the OpenGL, this part of the VTK is built on the OpenGL. Instead of calling the interface provided by OpenGL, you just need to call the API provided by VTK conveniently and render your data. And why to use VTK? Because it is widely used no matter in industry or in research community, and uh, it's open source. Okay, let's start with the real examples. I could explain following questions clearly by examples. First is how to generate the simple mesh data for testing, and how to read the data from the .vtk file. We will show you how to use Parallel to generate the mesh data for testing and how to write a C++ program using VTK and load that file. And the second one is how to switch the different reader for VTK data, because there are different data formats, such as the structured data, unstructured data, and we will show you how to find the documents about the data reader and how, how to make sure what is the suitable reader we should use. Another is how to find a suitable package when compiling project using VTK. Because if you use CMake, the VTK is organized in different, into different modules. We will show you how to find the suitable modules when you compile your project with, VT, with VTK. OK, let's start the examples. So it's called Paraview which is a really powerful and a little bit complicated too for scientific visualization. We will not dive into details for specific parts. I, want just, I, want, I just want to show you how to use a power view to generate the data for testing. We just need to click the sources here and the a geometric shape, for example, we need a simple box for testing. And here we need to hit apply and this is a box 
and uh, if you click the information, you could check the type for this uh, box. It is a polygonal mesh, and there are cells and points. If we want to generate a, generate the dot z dot vtk file, we just need to click file save data. For example, I could save it as a box. Put it here. Data. Oh, I already have it. Box. And then we will get a dot vtk file. We could check it. Yeah. This is a vtk file for that box. And then we will show you how to use C program to load this VTK file and print out the information such as the sales and points and so on. Let's say the real example. For this simple example, we just want to read the data from the dot VTK file. In this main function, we will cite the file name and create a reader. The type of the reader is a VTK smart pointer and the template parameter is VTK poly data reader. And then we call reader site file name and cite this file name. And then we execute update. Then we will execute the get output and generate the poly data and then call the print function to print it out. It is a very easy to build this project or build this file based on CMake. And we just need to call find package. And when for this target link libraries, we just need to add VTK libraries. If you are not familiar with the CMake, please check my playlist. And there are several videos talking about the how to use CMake from the scratch. And uh, for the latest version of the CMake, you just need to find package and link the library here. It is OK. And CMake will help you to find the specific modules used by CMake and link it together with your pro program. Let's say if I clean my build directory and I will execute CMake to compile my project and just make it. You could say the CMake add lots of files from the VTK here and we could get the batteries. If we execute it, so here we print the box information. That box is a VTK file that is generated by the preview. Uh, we could check all the details here, and it's really simple to use the reader to generate uh, to use this reader. And uh, what if we want to try different type, different reader? You could find all available readers here. This is a source code for VTK in this I.O. There are different types of readers like XML, MySQL, and the commonly used, uh, I mean the VTK format, is called the legacy. So here is a poly data data side reader or different different kind of reader and writer. You could get lots of information online for specific types of reader. If you tap BTK example, and there is a GitHub page. You could find the C++ examples and, uh, for example, I.O. Here, 
this they make list is a little bit complicated because I, I assume they use the old version for CMake. Here they provide specific module name. But for our example, we just find package and we didn't provide specific name of the module. If you want to find the name of modules, you just need to check this file. For example, this IO legacy, there is a module.cmake. You could put this, for example, put this VTKIO legacy here. In that case, it will only find this module instead of all the modules. And yeah, it is convenient to use CMake to compile VTK file. And yeah, that's it for this video. For the following video, we will explore how to write data from the data side of VTK in memory to a specific file. And we will explore some functions here in these filters. For example, how to call some of those filters and get the filtered result and filtered data. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.